Excellencies, colleagues, following our virtual summit on 22nd November, I am pleased to join you via video transmission and to open this morning's event at COP24. As chair of the Climate Vulnerable Forum, we are bearing the torch for those most vulnerable to climate change. We represent a number of nations, like my own, that face extinction as nations. Around the world, species of all kinds are also at existential risk. In the Marshall Islands, our coral reefs, which sustain our marine ecosystem, are on the front line. Most reefs likely won't survive the levels of warming we expect within the next 20 or 30 years. Mass bleaching of coral is already a reality in the Pacific. Last night, the Talanoa Dialogue drew to a close. Since early October, we have also benefited from the conclusions of the IPCC Special Report on 1.5 degrees. We know the shortfall of action is still there. We know it is possible to close that shortfall. We know doing so will improve sustainable development and can be accomplished while upholding human rights and ensuring a just transition. As poor and vulnerable countries, we have committed to do all we can to take greater actions by 2020. We did so not to miss the chance to prevent the most dangerous levels of warming, not to go above 1.5 degrees. We have decided to act despite our limited capacities, and we expect the world to also act. Some 30 years ago, the national anthem of the Marshall Islands was adopted, Forever Marshall Islands. In it, we pledge to never leave our home. Not only would the loss of our nation be a discreet loss to the world, our fates are also tied. What the most vulnerable deal with today, tomorrow, any person may face. This day at this cup, we are making it clear how broad the support is for doing more by 2020. I am sure the world will scrutinize any nation unwilling to join us by stepping up their own climate efforts by 2020. We must fulfill the pledge of leaders and nations at Paris in 2015. May we maintain now a special type of permanent vigilance or chumemich in Marshallese taking action until we have seen the earth and people through the present crisis that together we face. Thank you very much.